Okay, well, we have a, now we have a special video from Ken. <laughs> so he sent this to me um, this morning and said he wanted us to play it. And it's in relation to the next article that we're going to be talking about. So it's a little bit over a three minute video. So here we go. Well, hi, everyone. Or I should say g'day, of course. Sorry, can't be at Answers News today. You're going to have to put up with Dr. Purdom and Bodie and, of course, Brian. Uh, who's filling in for me today. Actually, on my way to New York, where I'm going to be doing some programs for a Spanish TV program, in fact, six of them, six programs, and then in the evening speaking at a church to Hispanic people and doing uh, two sessions there. And then I'm going to be off to Colorado, where I'm speaking at a church uh, in Colorado. You can get the details on the website. But what I want to do uh, was to say, look, I would really like Dr. Purdom, as a molecular geneticist, and Bodhi, and Brian, uh, to pipe in on this, but I actually posted a blog recently about bulldogs and the fact that that breed has a lot of problems. And it's because of mutations, ultimately because of sin. It goes back to the sin-cursed universe. Well, I tell you, my Facebook really went to the dogs over that one. Because people, some people got really upset because I said purebreds are by and large degenerate mutants. Well, really, they are. I, you know what I came to the conclusion of? Many, many people, I'd say probably most people, don't seem to understand the concept of what a created kind means and that in a syncursed universe, there are now mistakes, mutations that get added into the genes and they accumulate generation after generation and thro so through artificial selection uh, we now have concentrated lots of mistakes in certain breeds and they have all sorts of problems. Uh, that's all I'm saying. It doesn't mean I don't love dogs. It doesn't mean that you can't love a dog and, and, and enjoy its company or anything like that. It, it was really a teaching point that many people seem to miss because Hey, I, I make posts about gay marriage, about abortion, about gender issues, but when I told people their dogs might be degenerate mutants, they went ballistic. <laughs> that was like an, an atomic bomb explosion. And so I really think it'd be good if the three on the panel today could discuss a little bit about a created kind, what it means, even with cats. I think there are many people, I, I made a post about cats or a comment about cats, and the same thing happened. Uh, my post went to the cats. Well, that's not a real comment, is it? It should be to the dogs. Well, anyway, you know what I mean. And so many people don't realize domestic cats are the same kind as a lion or a tiger. Uh, think about that for a moment. So I would like them to discuss that a little bit. And I know Bodhi and Georgia and Brian have seen my post and seen many of the comments, hundreds of comments about dogs. And they can explain what I was actually saying. And the article that I posted, it was a real article dealing with bulldogs and problems in that breed. Now, if you have a bulldog, that's fine. You can have a bulldog. We're just talking about we need to recognize what we're doing with these purebreds. And it is a sin-cursed universe. And there are mistakes, mutations. And purebreds, well, OK, I'll let the panel discuss it all. And I'll get back to reading my book here. When did wild poodles roam the earth? Yep, one of my favorite books. OK, <laughs> you have a great day with Answers News. Do you guys get the feeling we're being hung out to dry? <laughs> you know, I, I wonder. A little bit. But you know, I found another book in, in Ken's library. It's a book on poodles. Uh, he has that one. He's got this one, too. Uh, but, you know, what's interesting about this book on poodles is a, a big part of this book are the medical problems that vet veterinarians have to deal with mm -hmm. with regards to poodles. Yep. You know, they, they too, are pure breed, uh, right. kind of like these pugs and things like this, and they, they do run into a lot of genetic and, mistakes. And it is a problem. I mean, it says top vets urge dog lovers to stop buying pugs and bulldogs because the problem is, I mean, one of the things that makes those dogs really cute is the fact that they have a really flat face, right? Well, guess what that does to the dog? Mm. They can't breathe, 
okay? Yeah, and it's led to, right. I mean, this is sad when you look at it. I mean, this poor dog, like, cannot get oxygen, and they have yeah. to have all kinds of, like, they've even developed problems with their skin because it's so folded up. They can get a lot of skin infection. Um, so they basically, it costs a lot of money to keep them alive. Exactly. So if they were in Canada, you think they would want to euthanize all these? Yeah. Uh, that's a good well, question. I mean, Makes a lot of wonder. respiratory issues. I mean, they they mm -hmm. really do. There's no doubt that purebreds have a lot more. There's been studies that have been done that yeah. showed mm -hmm. they have a lot more medical issues and problems yeah. than dogs that are mixed breeds. Talking right. about these cute dogs, the author of the article says, more of an anatomical disaster than the patron saint of cuteness. Yeah. Is what these and, dogs are. And we're don't get me wrong. I like dogs. Oh, yeah. I do too. <laughs> you know, um, I had a great day. Beautiful dog, but more of a Yeah, we had dogs, you know, where I grew up and, and that mm -hmm. sort of thing. We've had some, and, you know, we even had cats. I don't know if I should tell Ken that, but, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, when it comes down to some of these, uh, I mean, a lot of times they have been severely inbred and things right. like that. And that, that's yeah. how you get a pure breed, is by inbreeding these things. And we're, and not, we're not being good stewards either. I mean, we are to take mm -hmm. care of the animals. Mm -hmm. And this is not taking good care of them by breeding to them to the point. I'd actually read an article recently, and I think Ken had yeah. too, that showed that bulldogs will probably be extinct in 100 years, less than 100 years. We will not have that breed anymore wow. because we've just, we've literally mm -hmm. bred it to extinction. Yeah. And so, now these animals all belong to one kind. Ken mentioned about kinds. And, and they do, you know, all dogs, whether they're domestic or wild, all belong to the same kind. And they can certainly right. reproduce. That in other words, you know, on, on, on the ark, Noah only required two dogs. Right. All the dogs we have today are the yeah. descendants of those they two dogs. They have that two genetic dogs. diversity. Yep. Yeah. And we see Yeah, that. as they went to different parts of the world. And of course, you know, through breeding and stuff like that, which is right. artificial selection. You know, we've been able to get all these uh, varieties of breeds and so forth as well. So, I mean, that, that's what's happening with a lot of these pure breeds. You know, they are having problems. And, you know, people spend a lot of money. For those of you who have some of these dogs, you, you know what the vet costs are, right. you know, to, to work with these dogs oh, yeah. and things like that, too. You know, we've had to deal with that, too. And you brought up a really interesting point earlier when we were talking about this, where they make a point towards the end of the article. It's that these animals, the, the flat noses and so forth, it's cute to us. So it's cute because evidently ugly is cute, deformed is unique. And you like the unique factor mm -hmm. of having this dog that's different from the others. Then they made this statement, imagine if humans acknowledge and even revere diversity in people in the same way, which and is a powerful point. It is. it is a powerful point. Which is rooted in a biblical worldview because each right. person, no matter their struggles, handicaps, deformities, mm -hmm. is made in God's image. Without that, Right, we're celebrating, essentially you're celebrating the curse <laughs> um, and with these animals um, in the animal world, but yet in a human world, what do we want to do with people that are deformed or disabled? Kill them. I mm -hmm. mean, and, and I think it really goes right. to show how we are yep. so messed up in our thinking on this because humans yeah. are made in the image of God. Right. Yep. Um, animals are not. And right. so and, and it just shows how we, because we've gone away from the biblical worldview yeah. of thinking on this, how and distorted our thinking is.